is the annual uh, chili cook-off and uh, music fest. It's one of the best things to happen to Red River, honestly. If you live in miles of the same door neighbors, you can hang out together, do each other favors, you can ponder the universe. Up on the mesa, walk down by the river, sample the flavors. If you live in my house. A whole bunch of songwriters and singers, and uh, we all get together for about uh, four or five days. It's fun, and we love it. <laughs> If you lived in my house, it wouldn't be in the rules. You'd come when you want it, go when you choose. All your friends would come over, we could stay up real late. And we'd ever argue, cause we'd be so cool. If you lived in my house, if you lived in my house, if you lived in my house, it would be just like heaven. There's a huge um, history of music here in Red River. We have such a rich uh, musical culture around here. Once the music gets started, uh, we don't want to stop. There's a song called The Well. It just brings this wonderful event to New Mexico, and I've seen it grow year after year. This year, it's even bigger. Some of the best writers in the, in the world show up here, and uh, we just have a ball, have a good time. I don't care. thing called the Southwest Sound. You can climb up on your mountain, listen to the stars. You can find your place in this old world, but we'll go and dance in this old little bar. It's, it's real lyrical, real melodic, and uh, and again, it's, it's about here. just got a real real wonderful thing about echoing through these these mountains you know the music that has passed through here you can sing in the choir you can ring that bell you can preach to the faithful brother or shake that plate for the good lord's sake but i believe i Michael Hearn and South by Southwest, you know, they have this, they've captured something with their music. 